what to make for your family when you're short on time, but you still want to eat at home. Today, I'm gonna to share with you just a quick list of 15 of the meals that I like to have in my back pocket that I can quickly pull together with very little prep time so I can still feed my family at home and save money. Several of the recipes that I'm sharing today come from this 10 weeks of money saving menus. I will be sharing more about this at the end of the video. Okay, so we are just going to quickly go through all 15 of these meals. This is just to give you some good, easy ideas in case you are needing some ideas. Number one is Italian chicken. This is the easiest recipe in the world. You just get out your chicken breasts or chicken cutlets, whatever you have. You dump a whole bunch of Italian dressing on top, stick it in the oven, boom. You have an easy meal as soon as that comes out of the oven. You can serve it with a side salad or you know, easy minute rice or whatever, but it's super easy, like literally hardly any prep work at all. It's barely even a recipe. Number two, one more really easy baked chicken recipe is salsa chicken. So you're just gonna take your chicken breasts and you sprinkle it with like a little taco seasoning or really any seasoning, but taco seasoning is probably the easiest. Sprinkle it with that, then you put some salsa on top, add a little cheese on top of that, stick it in the oven and then 30, 30 or so minutes later, you have some really, really delicious chicken. I've made this recipe a bunch of times and we really love it. Number three, I can't not mention it, it's spaghetti. Spaghetti is always super easy. You can just do your spaghetti and sauce or you can do it with a meat sauce, which is what we like. And that is super easy if you have already browned your meat ahead of time. I like to do that if I can and just have it in the freezer. It thaws super fast. You can literally just stick it frozen in your sauce and it will just thaw as your sauce heats up. And by the time that you have your pasta cooked, you have a, an easy meal ready to go. Number four is breakfast for dinner. Obviously this could include a whole lot of different things, but you can just do eggs. You can have eggs with some sort of a breakfast meat. You can do pancakes, whatever. Breakfast for dinner is one of those fallback meals that everybody loves. Number five is grilled cheese and tomato soup. My kids don't really love tomato soup yet, but I love dipping my, um, dipping my grilled cheese in my tomato soup. And I have a recipe um, that came in this money saving menu that I was telling you about that it's a step up from the canned soup, which is what I'm used to is the canned soup, but it's like a tomato bisque or bisque. I don't even know how you say that. I need to look that up. Uh, but it's, it's just extra delicious, really, really good. And it kind of elevates the meal, but it really doesn't take much longer at all than just warming up the canned soup. Number six, beef stroganoff sandwiches. I've shared these with you guys before. They are super easy. And again, if you already have ground beef, I cannot say that word today. If you already have ground beef that's prepped ahead of time, then this literally takes hardly any time at all. Number seven is quesadillas. I had to mention quesadillas. I feel like that is our fallback for a lot of lunches, but sometimes dinner too. And you can make them more filling by adding in beans or leftover chicken, or even ground beef can be really yummy too. And you could season it with a little taco seasoning to give it um, just more flavor. There's a lot of options with quesadillas and they are usually a hit with everybody. Number eight is these chicken and cheese stuffed biscuits. I've also shared these on here before. They are really easy because you're using like the pre-made canned dough. Um, you just roll it out. You make this super easy little mixture, roll them up and stick them in the oven for, I can't remember how long, but it's not too long. And uh, then they're done. And they're great to, to take on the go with you. Um, not very messy and everybody really loves them. Number nine, taco quiche. This is a tried and true favorite that I grew up with. And it's really, really easy to make. If you have like a pre-made biscuit mix, that makes it especially easy. But even if you don't, you can whip it up really easily. The recipe shows both options. Um, and of course I will link to it in the description. Number 10 is pasta and chicken. This is a super simple go-to recipe for me, especially like if Pablo's not home for dinner and I just wanna make something quickly that the kids love, I'll do like a rotini pasta or a bow tie pasta, cook that, that up really quick. I will do like leftover shredded chicken, leftover grilled chicken, whatever chicken I have on hand, just chop it up, toss it in there, do some butter, some garlic salt, even minced garlic if you have it, some Parmesan cheese, and it's delicious. 11, number 11 is tostadas. Now some of you may not be as familiar with tostadas, but they are delicious and super easy and you can customize them. So if everyone doesn't like the same toppings, that's fine, set all the ingredients out and let everyone make their own. Number 12 is stir fry. Stir fry is great because you can quickly 
cook up some chicken on the stove. You can do it with as much meat as you want or just very little and go heavy on the veggies. You can do a bag of frozen veggies. You can do, I like just doing some broccoli sometimes. Um, and sometimes that's a little easier for kids. I feel like just having one kind of veggie, but you can do a whole bunch, whatever. You know, whatever you like, just toss it all together. Add in some soy sauce, um, salt, whatever seasonings you like and have it over some rice or just have it as it is. It really doesn't take long to make and it's a very healthy, easy meal. Number 13 is a sheet pan meal. It is sausage and potatoes. Now you can make this however you want. It can be just sausage and potatoes or you can add in all sorts of vegetables. I love doing broccoli and onions and we've done sweet potatoes, we've done carrots, all sorts of things, whatever you wanna to toss on there. Sorry, I think kids are having a good old time outside right now. And season it with salt, pepper, garlic, salt, whatever your favorite seasonings are. Um, and just that roasted flavor will be amazing and it's super easy. Number 14 is another easy meal for if you already have leftover chicken, just grab a salad kit and toss some leftover chicken on top and boom, you have an easy meal. Number 15 is another sausage meal. This one, you just cook your spaghetti like normal. Then you're gonna saute your, um, your sausage with a little onion, toss in some spinach, toss in a couple other things. I can't remember all the rest, all the ingredients off the top of my head, but it only takes a minute, toss it all together and you have a delicious meal. So some of these meals, I don't even have a recipe to link to for you, like quesadillas for instance, or breakfast for dinner. But the ones that do have recipes, I'm going to link to them in the description box. Some of them are from my blog, some of them are from other places. And then several of the recipes are from what I already mentioned earlier, it's called 10 Weeks of Money Saving Menus. Now, this is not something I came up with. With um, This is from Crystal Payne at Money Saving Mom. She has a frugal blog, she's on Instagram. Probably a lot of you guys already know about her. But I have used this, I got it, I wanna say a month or two ago. Um, and I love, what I love about it is she has 10 weeks of these menus. And so you can see dinners for, um, six dinners for a week because we're always gonna have a leftover night or go out or whatever. So there's six dinners for every week, for 10 weeks, they're all different. And then for each week she has a grocery list of everything that you need if you wanna make all those dinners that week. So it's just super cool how she has it all organized. And they're all meals that are simple. They use frugal ingredients. It's not like you're gonna be getting all of these things, spending extra money on ingredients you don't normally use. So that's what I like about it. So I wanted to mention that to you guys in case you want even more ideas than what I just shared with you. Again, it's 10 whole weeks of meal ideas that are frugal and really family friendly. So if you are interested in learning more about this, I will leave a link in the description box and you can check it out. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments what is the one, like the top meal that you always go to when you don't have much time and you just need to get something on the table for your family. Let me know and I will see you guys again soon.